that's how I start my videos from now on. That's the classic one weird word intro. Me, me when uh, the Browns almost didn't recover another onside kick. That was really nerve wracking. Okay, so anyways, the Browns won yesterday. What is happening today? I'm gonna do more of my chem lab in a bit here. I'm also thinking about taking studying more seriously this weekend. So that might mean not watching every game on Sunday that I physically can. So there's that. Also, I might... Oh, my headphones are unplugged. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I'm just going to do that now. Okay. Switch microphones. Hello? What? What? It switched microphones. Okay, well. That's not happening. Okay. Now we're using... Wait, is it on computer audio now? What? Hold on. <laughs> what is happening? Um... I need to stop. Or not. You know what? This is just how it is now, I guess. It sucks, but whatever. I'm just... I have homework to do this weekend. Whatever. I was... I already ruined my perfect prediction of the weekend. You know what's weird? I looked at a preview for the game, and most of the people ended up picking the Browns. And I, I found that kind of interesting, especially since, like... Um... The Browns aren't that good. Anyways. Larry Mize, John Harbaugh, Eric Montross, Matt Kemp, and Chris Johnson. All right. Here we go. The Cowboys lose a frustrating 30-28 to decision to the Steelers at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. The Cowboys trail 21-14 to in the third quarter with the ball on their own one-yard line when Eddie LeBaron fires an apparent 99-yard touchdown pass to wide receiver Frank Clark, but Dallas tackle Andy Sverko is called for holding in the end zone, which results in a safety. Instead of a tie at 21-21, to Pittsburgh leads 23-14, to good enough for the Steelers to hold on to the victory. Interesting. And to make sure you guys aren't subjected to listening to this terrible audio, I'm going to end the video now. Outro.